a reverse stencil kind of heart. Uh, just something different, something, thank you, Rebecca, something we haven't done before just to show you kind of a new technique. Thank you, Jenny. So I have this heart that I traced on cardstock, okay? So I'm gonna cut out my heart. Thank you, Rhonda. That was very generous. I'm gonna cut out my heart with scissors. And I wanted to, sh I didn't do it ahead of time because I wanted to show you what I was doing. Roll Tide. So this is heavy, heavy cardstock, and we're gonna use it as a reverse stencil. So I'm just gonna cut out my heart. Not literally, guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut my heart out, and I should do this while we're waiting on paint to dry. But that would be too smart. But I'm already halfway there, so we're just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna cut out my heart. I'm gonna go this way a little bit. It'll be easier for me to come back because I don't want to bend in my cardstock. Steam Gray. Steve. Will you look in that desk drawer and see if there's some double stick tape? I'm going to use that to make sure my heart doesn't move. And then I'm going to come back around here to get this cut properly. I'm having to pay close attention. There. Such a cute heart. I'll put it right here so you can see. It's kind of crooky. And see how cute it is? Hey, ladies. Thank you, Jackie, for the stars. You guys are awesome. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to paint our canvas teal, a light teal. Thank you, love. My pleasure. <laughs> we're going to paint our canvas a light teal. We're going to let that dry. Then we're going to, I'm gonna use some double stick tape and put it on here. And we'll put our heart on our canvas. Then I'm gonna stencil the darker teal around the outside edge, kind of fading out around it. We're gonna add, we're gonna use Mod Podge as gold leaf size, but if you don't have Mod Podge and you do have gold leaf size, they're kind of interchangeable. They have about the same drying time. And then we're gonna drop in some of these gold leaf flakes that I got at the Hobbly Lobbly. Thank you, Jennifer. Onto our Mod Podge. And then we are going to add, where'd it go? Some clear and some glass beads to our teal heart. So stay tuned for all of that fun. First order of business is to paint our canvas. So I'm gonna put my little heart up there and I'm gonna use Aqua Sky. And we're just gonna go ahead, let me get a bigger version paintbrush. That ought to do, just, just a big flat brush. Let me get some of the yuck off. And we're just gonna paint this all over. Thank you, Jamie. I'm gonna get that dried up little something off of there. We're going, I think that should be enough. <laughs> We're going to paint the entire canvas. Okay. So this is something we haven't done on a live before. I think we did a similar, well, maybe it wasn't exactly this way. Hang on. We did a bunny a couple years ago. I can't remember if we used a negative or a positive cardboard cutout stencil. We need more paint though. Thank you, Becky. I'm gonna go ahead and just get these sides real quick while we're here. That way I don't have to worry about it later since this is such a contrasting color from the white. We do wanna make sure we get these sides painted. Oh, let's go. Ugh. I want to get that messy. Just get our sides. La la la. And we'll go this way. This side. 
Well, let's do our end. Being a little messy. That's okay too. <laughs> it's a rainy day here too, Louise. Kind of icky. We went by the studio, the new studio, on the way here to see if any progress was made. They have put in the HVAC or the, it's kind of been sitting there. The piping and stuff, whatever you want to call it, was done. But they hadn't hooked up the unit yet, but the unit is now hooked up. And honestly, it just looks like it needs some paving. They're still working on the front facade as well. So I'm super excited. It actually looks like it might happen when they said it was gonna happen. So that's super exciting as well. We need a little more paint. Yeah, y'all, this is crazy because normally don't I like put way too much on? And then it's like, oh, let's scoop some of that back into the bottle. Not the case today. One more time. Ugh, that's probably too much. That's all right. We'll spread her around. So yeah, I've been live like four times this week, I think. It's crazy. It's kind of like my pumpkin situation. I had so many hearts that I wanted to do. And then I was out of town one day this month on a Wednesday and I've been sick. So I hadn't really been able to do the things. So I'm making up for lost time. Eight by 10, I'm sorry, here we go. So now let's get this dry. This covered really nice, so no need for a second coat. But let's get it dry with our handy dandy Seek One dryer. Heat gun, whatever. We're gonna get this dry. Hey, Reams. Rima, we're not doing foil today. <laughs> so for all of you who watched yesterday, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. For all of you who watched yesterday, I totally was using the wrong size to try to adhere my foil to my art piece. Um, I thought I was using um, something that Rima had sent me, but it was totally the wrong thing. I see I got a blank spot, so I'm gonna fill that in. Uh, I was totally using the wrong thing. Rima hates that size, but I did link the correct size in the live. In the description of that live from yesterday, it does have the link to the correct size. So if you still want to use that, um, use that uh, lee or the foil and that size, you can do that. <laughs> so. Let's get this dry. So it wasn't all my fault. My, it was my fault that I used the wrong size. It was some size that she was not recommending. She, she found it didn't work for her. I just happened to test that on a live. <laughs> but it's okay, it all worked out, right? It all worked out okay. So that is dry. So we're gonna give that a few seconds to cool off. I know. Rima was messaging me last night laughing at me. She was like, oh girl, that size is terrible. Don't ever use it. You know, I have some of the AF, um, um, the size that you, that I was supposed to use. I do have some of that, Rima. So, all right, I want to make sure this is cooled down. And then I'm going to take my heart and on the back of my heart that I cut out, out of cardstock, I'm gonna add a little bit of double stick tape just to keep my stencil in place while I do my next color. See, I got that a little over, but that's all right. I 
I don't want it moving around while we paint around it because uh, that won't be good. So I'm just gonna do this. It's kind of a cheat. <laughs> so be it. And then we're gonna stick this down. It is uh, uh, Pusha, Pusha. Um, Aqua Sky. So I'm gonna place my heart wherever I want it, and I'm gonna press it down. Now, if you wanted to you if you want to cut this out and use it more than once, you can um, seal this or use it by the plastic stencil blank and cut it out, and you can use that more than once. Probably not gonna be able to use it more than once with what we're gonna do, okay? So I've got my stencil down that I cut out of cardstock and I'm gonna use Desert Turquoise. It's a darker teal. I'm gonna put some of that on my plates. I'm gonna smoosh it around because I am gonna stencil. I'm gonna add a little bit of white as well just in case we need it. Always need the white, right? And my other stencil brush, I left my big fat stencil brush in the water overnight, and you don't wanna use a stencil brush wet, so I'm gonna have to use this little baby one, so y'all bear with me. Um, this is the same brand, and it's nice, the stencil hairs, the hairs and the bristles are nice and long. I really like that. Um, and a stencil brush. So again, we're gonna do just like we did last night. I'm gonna load my stencil. You see it's nice and wet. It's got lots of paint. We don't want that. So I'm gonna offload. And then I'm gonna come around my heart and I'm gonna stencil the darker color. I'm gonna go all the way around my heart with the darker color. I might have got something a little bit darker. I might grab real quick another darker color. Hang on. That was a little too light. Give me one a second. This is called Mermaid Tail. This is called Mermaid Tail. I'm gonna get a little bit of it as well. I don't want this to dry too much. I'm going back in that same blue. I'm gonna finish out all the way around. I'm gonna extend it out a little. And I'm gonna go into the mermaid tail, which is a darker. And I'm gonna come around all the way around my cute little heart. Swirl, swirl, you can pounce if you need to. All right, and now I'm gonna go back into, I didn't, I'm not cleaning my brush. Going right back in to the desert turquoise and kind of mix it in around that dark edge. I'm trying to go kind of fast so it doesn't dry so it blends easier. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of white in, offload, and I'm gonna come all the way to the edge. Just kind of stipple that in if you need to so it's just a nice blend. Hang on. starting to dry. I need a little more of that desert turquoise up here. And we can micromanage a little bit after we get the color mostly on. A little bit of white. 
around my edges, all around my four corners. I'm gonna brush some of that off. Going back into that, I keep forgetting what the name of the color is, Desert Turquoise. Kind of blend your white. And I'm gonna go back into that mermaid tail one more time. Get it on my brush. Offload and just pounce it, scrub it, whatever you need to do. Just want it to be kind of blendy. You don't want it to be an obvious line. Then we're gonna take this heart off. I'm gonna get all that off my brush. I'm futzing. I got too much white. I'm making little spots I don't wanna make. All right, I think we're good. It's just gonna have to be. I'm gonna pull this off. So we have a nice heart, except for right there, where I can use a white from Ms. Gina to correct my little boo-boo where it went under my stencil. So I'm just gonna take it on the tip of my finger and just clean that edge up. Perfect. Look at that. Turned out really nicely. We'll let that dry. Maybe can use that again. Now. Look at that, super, super cute. So real quick, I'm gonna throw, I'm not gonna throw this in the water yet, but I do want to take some of our original color, which was the aqua sky. I'm gonna put some on my plate this time, just a little, and I'm gonna grab a brush, just a flat, regular old flat brush, get it wet. I'm gonna um, clean this up a little where I'm boo-booed, but I'm also gonna add, ooh, I'm trying to hold my breath while I do this, on this side of my heart, I am going, I'm gonna tell you in just a second, I'm trying to be gentle. I'm gonna add a little bit of white we're gonna lighten this one side up just a little and give it a little swish. All right, there, perfect. So there's what you end up with here. Loving these colors. So I'm gonna get this dry. I think I'm safe with going ahead and putting my stencil brush in the water. So let's get this dry. Make sure I keep my colors separate from my girls. We're gonna get this dry. Aren't these pretty colors? I love that we're doing that in reverse. We all think about that. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink while I'm drying. I think we're good. We'll let that cool off a second. And I am going to use Mod Podge. And I have a sponge brush. You can find these at any craft store. Um, and this is a big old sponge brush, so I'm just gonna tear off a little piece. Thank you for the stars. And I have dampened this, okay? When it's dry, it's super hard. Thank you for the stars, Sherry. Um, when it's dry, it's super hard, so you do wanna dampen it and squeeze out all that excess um, uh, water. So you want it to be damp and squishy. All right, so now this is cooled off. I'm gonna add, it's hard, 
Let's see. <sighs> All right. A little bit of this to my plate. Hang on. Whoops. And I'm going to use my sponge brush and very lightly add some of this around. So I'm getting it on my brush. And you can, let me scooch this over. You can put it on your brush or on your sponge and then dab off so you don't have an excess amount. And I'm just going to add, I'm gonna set this back on here for a second, just to keep from going on the inside. I'm gonna add some of this glue around my heart, just kinda on, for the most part, on one side do want to just add a few little drips on the other side. That's it, all right? Now, we get to chat for a few seconds while this dries. Normally, it takes about 20 minutes for this to dry. I am gonna be bad and test fate, and I'm gonna use my heat gun on low air and low heat. Hang on, let me find my low heat setting. And I'm not going to get really close to my piece, but I'm going to hold it up about a foot and a half and just kind of blow in that direction until that sets up a little. I'm just kind of making it go faster, hopefully. All right. How y'all doing? Thank you for the sprinkles. This one turns out really nicely. We'll do this one in a giveaway as well. This will be uh, another gift, dude, another gift. We got one little spot. We're gonna go for it. All right, so let's see. Now I'm gonna take this gold leaf that I bought from Hobby Lobby, it's called Foil flakes, they're super inexpensive. This was like $3.99. And I'm gonna grab a brush. This is kind of an icky brush. It'll work really well. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess, but we'll try to minimize it as much as possible. So I'm just gonna pick up some of these flakes with my brush, and I am going to add them. Oh to where I put my glue. Let's see. Just scoop them up and put them on your glue. That's a big piece, but that's okay. It'll only really stick where you have glue. Keep doing this until we have all our spots covered. This stuff can be so messy. Freaks me out sometimes. It's like, ah, not a mess. All right, so we have a little bit on the side. I want it to be minimal, so I'm just going to try to pick up. It's so staticky, it just grabs right on to your brush. Uh, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can use any gold leaf size. I would normally use gold leaf size, but and I was under, you know, I was thinking probably... Most of y'all might have Mod Podge, but you probably don't all have gold leaf size unless you use that a lot. So I was just trying to come up with something you could use that you have. All right, so I think that's good. I'm gonna put the top back on. And then out of your view, 
I'm gonna hang this over my trash can and get rid of some of this extra debris off of my piece. I'm using my brush to just kind of get off anything extra. So we end up with this. Check it out. Is that not super cute? Super cute. So we got off anything we didn't want in there. And now we get to do the fun stuff. That is so cute, isn't it? So here's what I brought. I brought some clear, which has that blue tint to it. We can add that, or we could add Caribbean blue. Let me see. Let me see what we got going on over here. If you have Caribbean blue and wanted to use that, you totally could. That's just too big for right there. I don't want to fight it. Let me get a few more pieces. Hello. I'm going to add in my little blank spot here. And we got a little spot here. And I want to come all the way down. We'll add a little, a few little nuggets here and there. And we're going to also add, you know me, I'm a weirdo. I'm only going to do half my heart. And when we resin, we're going to add these wonderful tealy, clear, iridescent sea beads. So, who is ready to resin? I'm going to go ahead and elevate. I forgot to elevate yesterday's. So, I'm going to do that. I don't know where my baby blocks are, so we're going to use these big ones. Elevate our candles. Is this cute or what? Yeah, I'm a professional gold leafer. <laughs> I've been using gold leaf for a long, 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 long time. I've even gold leafed my fair share of ceilings. So, pretty good with leaf. Foil, maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm literally going to mix up one ounce of resin. So, whoops, I just threw that on the ground. So I'm going to mark my cup, a half ounce, one half ounce of hardener. And this is probably too much, but I'll let you know in the end if we have left over. Half ounce of hardener, half ounce of resin. And isn't it pretty? I love it. So I, you know, when I posted earlier, I was asking what color we should do. And um, originally I was thinking about doing pink. So think about this. And I started kind of playing with colors. And here are the colors that I was kind of playing with. So this is what we're using right now. It's the blue version. So I was really considering doing a pink version as well. And this was going to be my red version. So you could do this in any color. Just do a light and a dark so that you have the um, ombre look on the outside of, ooh, got an itchy nose, on the outside of your Heart. So I'm gonna do half an ounce of hardener in my cup. I'll get it fixed right. The sun is setting outside my window and it is beautiful. This is probably way too much. So 
So an ounce of hardener and now an ounce of resin. And woo, not so fast. All right, let's let that grow. And we are going to see if I can mix in my same cup. I think. What did I do with this? I don't think I'm going to be able to. Nope, I tore it up. So let me grab a cup. I need some bigger, some smaller cups. So I'm going to dump both of these into my cup. Sorry. I'm going to dump both of these into my cup and then we're going to mix. Just like always. Alright, there is our hardener. Now our resin. Y'all saw a video on YouTube last night where a girl was doing resin with her bare hands. And I was like, oh no, don't do it. Ugh. Just not smart for one. And ugh, who wants that sticky all over their hands? I was like, no, 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 no. All right, so there is our mix. So we're gonna stir this. I'm gonna use my bigger stick. This little one makes my hand cramp. We're gonna stir this for three minutes. Hey, Judy. And then we're going to pour it on our glass. Not dark in South Dakota, yeah. It is just starting to set here. Already dark into, yeah, you are an hour ahead of us. So you wanna make sure when you're mixing your resin that you are scraping the sides of your cup as you mix so that you are making sure you're getting all those two parts intermixed together. Do your sides, the bottom of your cup, because if you have one little dot of resin in here, one little me, me, one little blob that's not mixed with the hardener, it is never going to harden. You'll end up with sticky spots in um, sticky spots in your piece that, that will never dry. Why not use the extra resin on the piece? I'm not sure what extra resin. Not sure what extra resin you mean. So stir, stir, stir. Thank you for the sprinkles. Thank you, Joanne. Mix it up real good. I love the added bit of gold leaf. I think it really makes this piece pop. Scrape your sides. If you make too much resin, you only have about 45 minutes to use it. So you can't, um, like leave it for the day and then use it again, you know, tomorrow it's gonna harden. You only got about 30 to 45 minutes depending on how much you mix. The more you mix, the faster it starts to uh, set. Um, so, but you know, I try to always have something on my table that I can pour extra resin on. Um, I don't at this time because, you know, we're packing and doing all kinds of stuff around here. Uh, so I don't have anything to um, pour the resin on. 
if we made too much, but I think we're gonna be fine. We should be getting close to time. I can't see, my iPad is a delay, so. Thank you, Nora. No problem, Kimberly. Kimberlyn, I love that. Any time, that's what I'm here for. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine says time is up. So we are gonna start with our glass spots, okay? So I'm gonna start with drizzling. And let me tell you why we drizzle. If you just dump it over the top, it might not hit every piece of glass. And you do want the resin on every piece of glass. What happens is it hits that top layer of glass and it's self-leveling. So what happens is it runs off the glass down in all the cracks and crevices and then it hits the canvas underneath and that's what adheres the glass to your canvas. Right, so you don't want to miss any spots. That's why we drizzle. And voila, now we can use the rest. We make sure all that. Now we can use the rest that we have in the cup we're gonna drizzle it around the rest of our canvas. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. We'll drizzle around the rest of our canvas and spread it with our gloved hand. Glove on your hand. All right, so. Wipe it out. Yeah, you could totally wipe it out. I'll just, what I normally do is just take the stick out of my cup. Thank you, Rebecca. Take the stick out of my cup and let it dry. And then because I measure in the small baby cups, I can measure it and I can, in the baby cups, and I can reuse this cup a hundred times if need be. And you can wipe out your baby cups too. So I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna spread my resin all around, all the way to the edge. Spread, spread, spread. I'm moving around a little bit of leaf as I work too, because some of it obviously didn't completely stick down, but that's okay. That is all right, we don't care. Don't come. So we're going to keep moving. Get the whole thing covered. Oops. Grab that piece of glass. I don't want you on there. Get over there. Go all the way to our edge. And you can use like a sponge brush or what I suggest are these silicone where are they? These silicone tools to spread your resin. I, for whatever reason, I most of the time prefer just using my hand, but you can totally use that tool. There's a little piece of gold leaf trying to float away. I'm gonna go around the edge of that canvas with my fingers. Now I can see a spot. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna lower my head and look across and make sure to um, cover any skippy spots that may pop up. I don't want any skippies. I'll tell you this though, 100%. If by chance 
I miss a little tiny spot somewhere in my art piece. I do not stress about that. Once it's dry, you can really see um, if you skipped, if you missed a spot, and I do not let that bother me. I do not re-resin, just let it go because it is what it is, okay? So these are glass seed beads. Um, I bought these online somewhere, but you can totally get these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They are the 11s, so they're tiny little tealy covered seed beads. I have no idea where I purchased them, so can't help with that, but they probably have the exact same thing at Hobby Lobby and or Michael's. So let me, they're made by Dairies, so they may be Michael's anyway. Let me open this. I'm afraid if I go too, if I like cut too much or whatever, I'm gonna sling them all over the place. So let me grab a little baby cup. We're gonna pour these into a little baby cup because I always feel like I have more control. These are so pretty. They're very iridescent. Let me see if you can see it if I do this. Can you see the kind of blue iridescent? So, so pretty. And I, I'm gonna actually hit it with my heat gun first. Almost boo-booed. Pop any of those bubbles. Oh, I gotta turn some heat on. We're gonna pop any bubbles that we created when we mix our resin. Because anytime you mix two liquids together, it does create bubbles. So let's take those, get the bubbles out. And now I'm gonna turn this a little bit since I'm actually gonna flip it upside down or sideways so I can have better control over where I put these over here because I don't want them to go too crazy off the beaten path. But I can um, add, I can like push them where I want them. So it won't be too horrible if they do. This is so pretty. So I want them heavier around the outside edge and then light to hardly anything kind of in that middle. I'm gonna grab some with my fingers so I have a little more control. And any that went awry, I'm gonna add a few more over here too in my glass. So if you have some strays, you can just use a toothpick or something along those lines to, I'm sorry, I can't talk, I'm like, oh! You can use a toothpick. I use this bead tool that one of my girls sent me and you can just scooch those back into the space of your heart. If any of them get out of place or if you have some where you don't want them. I have to breathe. I have to breathe. So you can move them closer to the edge. You can scooch them in, spread them around, whatever you want it is. Super, super cool. Let's look at this close up. Guys, this is gorgeous. So check it out. So one side has the clear glass. The other side has the glass beads. And that really looks super cool. I Love this so much. 